This question is from Ebony White. Hey Ryan, do you have a vid on choosing a name for your massage business? I've been struggling with this since I knew I was going to enroll. I have time yet before I graduate, but need um, direction. Thanks for your time. With this, um, a lot of people have commented already on my Facebook page. So what I'll do is I'll put all the comments um, in, the, in the link description so you can read all the different kind of comments and suggestions that people are making. What some people will do with the, the name thing, it seems really weird, but you, more likely you know a friend that's really perverted. So you say the name to them, um, a prospective name that you think of, and the thing is, is they start laughing, don't use that name. So it might be a perverted um, kind of um, kind of name then. So, But even though you might not think of it that way, but that person does, so try not to use that name, of course. Some people just play it safe, so let's say Angela's Therapeutic Massage kind of thing, so they're using their actual name, and then make sure you have the name Massage in there. And therapeutic definitely helps too, or um, Angela's Massage and Body Work, um, those kind of things. So that's why some people just do it, just to be a little bit safe. And with that, then you don't have to register um, the, the name of your business if you actually have your name in it then. It's just a little bit easier to do that. Otherwise, you have to be do a thing of doing business as, and you have to um, take out an ad in the um, back of the local newspaper, and for about two weeks, I think it is. It's been a while since I've done this, but um, then what you do is you say that th this is a, the name of your business, and just make sure nobody else has it then. And I myself, when I had my business, it was called Massage Works on Maine. And the reason I chose that because massage it does work, of course, and and it was on Main Street, so massage works on Main, so that's why I took that. Our idea before that was both me and my business partners, both of our last names start with an H, so we're thinking about H two massage. So it was too hard for people to figure out though because we tested it on other people, but. Um, we, we love the concept, but we just never went with it at all. So that's why we went with, with Massage Works on Main. So um, you got to be a little bit of creative um, with those aspects then too. And try to find out what you love um, as much as possible and try to incorporate that in there. But again, um, just ask your friends, relatives, and stuff what they think of the name. So pick maybe five or ten that you really think um, are, are beneficial and you might use and then have people rank them. So have, have other people rank them too. And you gotta think about in the phone book too because some people will put like AAA massage or something like that or um, those kind of things. So they'll put um, in the yellow pages of course with the A's, um, it's gonna be first then. But myself, when I had my business, it was of course Massage Works on Main. But when people look at the business listings, mine was one of the few that actually started with the M. So if anybody, um, was looking for the word massage in the professional section uh, mine would pop up so that would actually help out a lot and one mistake I made too was um, I didn't realize there is a non-therapeutic um, section in our local um, yellow pages but mm -hmm. we didn't specify anything and we just thought because everybody else's is, was in this one therapeutic massage section that ours would but our first year of being open they put it under just beneath massage and not underneath therapeutic massage so that first year and a half or so, we got a lot of um, a weird phone calls, people asking for other things. So that's why I make sure you clarify those kind of things with the yellow pages. So again, um, most people, just to be safe, they'll just use their first name and then some type of massage or something afterwards and something that specifies what you actually do then. But just make sure you have something related to what you're performing because um, if you don't, it's going to be confusing for the people, of course. So again, I'm going to put all the comments um, in the in the section over there, what people have made so far, and I'll try to keep adding to them if people are going to add um, more comments on my Facebook page. And if you want, um, add me as a friend on Facebook, and the link is in the description bar too, okay? Thank you very much. Bye.